Today we are going to talk about Warcraft 3 Reforged. After a quick introduction to my experience with Warcraft 3 and with Reforged in the beta, I will talk about the aspects of the game that have changed compared to the original version and the aspects that haven't changed. I will do that without judgment. And after that I will give you my personal opinion on the current state of the game. These segments are this way so that you can form your personal opinion first before you're directly hearing from me what I personally think. And I think that's important with this game and you'll hear about why. So first of all, a very important thing, if you have seen any earlier trailers or any announcements regarding Warcraft 3 Reforged, be a bit wary. Not everything that was initially announced made it into the game and not everything that looked different at some point was actually changed in the end. An example here would be the UI that was used in an earlier test version that did not make it into the final game at all and we're back to the old HUD so that hasn't actually changed and there are multiple of those things. So keep that in mind if you're looking at old demo footage of this game. Now Warcraft 3 is a game that I used to have a very strong personal connection to. Because when I got my first PC, which was built by my dad's work colleague for me, who was a PC enthusiast in general, he put the English version of Warcraft 3 on there. So it was my first big game that I ever got to touch, really. And I loved it. I loved it so much that I ended up buying the German version because I couldn't understand anything back then. And I played it a lot. I didn't play it competitively at all. I never learned the hotkeys or anything like that. I was somebody who spent most of his time on custom maps and stuff but I had a lot of fun with it. So I was very excited when Warcraft 3 Reforged was announced because of course there is a nostalgia factor going back to that game. And I really wanted to see what improvements can be made to this game. I would have of course preferred Warcraft 4, but I thought that this could be some good middle ground basically, at least for now. So a few weeks ago I bought the game to get beta access. I did test all the different modes that were available at the time and today I went to test the rest of the stuff and to verify that everything from the beta is still the same that it was on the final build because throughout the beta there were a lot of issues that were fixed at some point. And now let's get to what really changed. First of all, the big obvious thing is the graphics and also some of the tech that is running in the background. That is something that is a bit controversial because not everyone likes the visual style but overall I would say the new style is nice and if you really don't like the new style there is an option to switch back to the original style as well so both is there. However the graphics of the cinematics were not really updated. The cinematics were remastered to higher resolutions but with the exception of the intro cinematic they were not redone entirely. The campaign was slightly altered to be more in line with World of Warcraft lore, which means there were visual changes to three areas, Stratholm, Dalaran and Silvermoon. But that doesn't mean that the story in itself was changed. There was originally the plan to make some minor changes, make some of the characters that are more relevant in World of Warcraft more relevant in Warcraft 3's story as well. But because of a backlash from the community, about the voice actors that would potentially be swapped out, these changes never happened and the only things are visual changes to these three areas. That also means that a lot of areas were not updated to fit better with World of Warcraft theme. There are also female versions of some hero units and the emphasis here is really on some. I originally thought it was somewhere in the settings but it's in your skin collection and only two skins are accessible as female versions if you didn't buy any extra ones. The skins in question are a female Death Knight and female Demon Hunter, which are available in anything but the campaign, really. This is a purely cosmetic change that you can enable or disable if you like. Again, it's only for two units, though. There is now better map editor or modding support by supporting Lua as a coding language, which should make things easier for people who are involved in map editing in Warcraft 3. The online experience overall is intended to be better as it now runs entirely through the battle net which means you have less necessity to open or forward certain ports and stuff like that which can make things easier especially when you want to host custom games. 
There was a large number of balance changes a while ago, basically as an introduction for Warcraft 3 Reforged, that also affect people that played on the old client. We'll get to that part in a bit. There were changes made to increase the stability of the game, and looking back in comparison to the old Warcraft 3 days, that may be true, because back then the game really used to crash a lot and had a lot of issues. That does not mean that the game is perfectly stable in its current state, though. There is a new difficulty for the story mode, a story difficulty basically, an easy one if you don't really want to focus on the gameplay and more just follow the story along. There are new hotkey options to bind your keys differently. There are some new UI settings for health bars and so on. There is no ranked anymore for now, which will be coming back at some point in the future. Those are the things that have changed, and all the things that haven't changed. The voice lines remain entirely the same with the original voice actors. The story has not changed at all. The cinematics have not been updated, except the intro. The character animations are not entirely updated. Apparently they're still running on 30 Hz, which does not look very good on higher FPS monitors. I personally can't speak to that because my monitor right now is pretty bad, so I can't really tell much of a difference, but it would be more noticeable with a higher resolution monitor from all I've learned about this. There were no significant UI updates that were originally shown, that was entirely reverted, based on feedback from the community. There are no new edit campaigns, only some campaign parts re-edited that were apparently at some point removed. There are no improvements on pathfinding, again something that apparently the competitive community did not want, even though Blizzard was at some point discussing it and they said it might still happen or something, it's a bit unclear. There are also no new servers for Australia, for the Oceanic region, despite many newer titles having that. So if you're from Australia, you're either stuck with Asian servers with really bad ping or with American servers with really bad ping. Or you can go on the European ones if you want to suffer even more. These are the changes and not changes so far. The plans going into the future are having pro players involved with future balance changes, some eSports deal that they've got going on with ESL and I think Dreamhack, as well as adding new assets for the custom map making community. And this is where things get really interesting. If you already have Warcraft 3, you will be playing against people that have Warcraft 3 Reforged. The only difference between you will be that you cannot access the upgraded graphics. That is literally it. You have access to everything else. And that is it in terms of changes and the information that we have about that. I'll give you a second to form your own opinion based on the information that you have right now. Get a feel for what you think about these changes in general. And in 3, 2, 1, I'm going to give you my own opinion. I was really excited for Warcraft 3 coming back in any form. I was really, really excited for new players to experience that game, to maybe RTS as a whole having a bit of a revival and maybe having its own niche with the custom games and everything. I thought that was a really cool time when Warcraft 3 was huge. I do no longer see any of that happening. The whole game, in my opinion, is basically just Warcraft 3 with nicer graphics and with some downgrades along the way as well. If you want Warcraft 3 in a new dress, that's nice, you can play that. But if you want to feel like the game has been reforged from the ground up, that is absolutely not what you are getting right now. I think the route that Blizzard took here was basically the laziest way possible. They put everything on the classic purists basically, the ones that said we don't want any actual changes to the game outside of visuals because we have to maintain everything according to our nostalgia, when those people could have just kept playing Warcraft 3. If Blizzard did not choose to merge the servers and kept Warcraft 3 in its old version for those players and then had reforged as a new title basically, they could have made much more substantial changes and really given the game a fresh feel. For example, they would have not been restricted in the animations because they wouldn't have to keep in mind that some people 
play on the old visuals and they kind of have this issue where they can't increase the animation speed or the refresh rate because otherwise you'd have an advantage against those players. That is just something that is super frustrating if you're gonna overhaul the looks of a game. And likewise, the entire new UI was scrapped, which in many ways was more functional. And we have the exact UI that we had back in the day with all of its glaring flaws in terms of placements of icons and whatnot and taking up way too much space. Just because there were some elitists that said, we don't want any change and Blizzard used them as their reasoning. A lot of it in my eyes comes down to Blizzard not wanting to run multiple servers for old Warcraft 3 and new Warcraft 3 and not wanting to support multiple titles, but it doesn't give any benefits to Reforged other than a bit of a new look. In my opinion, if you want to experience Warcraft 3, you can easily just find an old key for the classic version somewhere. I know they are still around, I think they should still be usable, even though it's not in Blizzard's shop anymore, and you would get the same experience for, for cheaper. The new look is nice, and I personally am not gonna refund my game because I might just get an itch to play Work of 3 from time to time and I couldn't find my old copy anymore. So I guess in that sense it's okay for me, but it could have been so much more. And I think it's so sad, especially because Blizzard said that based on this they want to gosh interest for Warcraft 4 and I don't think that Warcraft 3 in this form is gonna get much interest at all and if it was executed differently that could have been a whole different story. I might still play custom games from time to time and have my fun with that but it's far from what I was hoping for and what I was expecting. But I guess at this point I shouldn't have been expecting much in the first place. And with that, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to the channel feel free to sub button and make the bell and you can hear updates about other games in the future as well, or maybe see me play a custom from time to time. And other than that, see you for the next one tomorrow. Duke Sloth, out.